everybody. Ethiopia. So whenever you are ready, you may begin. Today I'm going to tell you about Ethiopia. It is located in East Africa. It has over 76 million people there, which is the same as saying three times as many people in Texas. To give you a glimpse of the size of Ethiopia, it would either be two Texases or three Californias. <coughs> now something cool about Ethiopia is that it, ha that it has this ancestor named Lucy who lived three million years ago. And another unusual thing about Ethiopia is that it's been a free country since 2,000 years ago or when Jesus was born. One, one of the, they have very unusual animals. The first unusual animal is called the bee eater. This bee eater is beautiful, but guess what? It eats bees. Another unusual bird they have there is the weaver bird. This weaver bird makes nests upside down in a heart. When they have they have, the termites they have there, they make mounds tall as treetops. They're so tall, birds even nest in them, and jackals and mongooses also make dens in them. One of the endangered animals they have there is the warthog. You don't commonly see them in the world much, so that's how you probably know that they're endangered. One, another endangered animal they have there is the columbus monkey. This monkey used to be hunted for its silky fur, but now it is protected. Eight out of ten people are, are farmers. Two out of ten work at other jobs. One acre out of ten are used for those farming. That leaves it with 90% left for the grazing. Now, the most important cr crop they have there is the coffee crop. Did you know that coffee is first found in Ethiopia? The legend says that this shepherd saw that his sheep were really restless because they were eating these red berries. So the, so the shepherd went and told the monk, and the monk ate these red berries so he could stay up longer and pray. Now when Ethiopia found about the coffee, they went and shared with their neighbor Yemen. Then they started trading it with European traders, and they started sharing with the whole world. Now the other exports they have are leather, cotton, gold, and oil seed. Now with the money they get from those exports, they also buy imports like cars, food, and oil, and stuff that you probably need, need for living. Now, now if you woke up one day in Ethiopia, you would be wearing a robe like <coughs> cloth. Now if you went to school, you would actually probably not even go to school because most Mostly, more than half of the Ethiopian kids, Ethiopian kids don't go to school. But the other little part left are the kids who do go to school. And four out of ten can read and write. That, and six out of ten cannot read or write. Ethiopia is a poor country. Fifty percent are very poor. The most common religion is Christian. Six out of 10 people would be Christian. The second most common religion is Muslim. Only three out of 10 would be Muslim. And the last common religion is, is the other religions. That would be only one out of, t out of, 10, out of 10 people. As you know by now, coffee is the most important thing they have there. And they have this tradition called the bunny ceremony. What they do at the ceremony is they give coffee to the friends. This is one example of their warmth and hospitality of these kind and gracious people. Wonderful job, Anna. Thank you. Questions for our Ethiopia yeah. expert. What, what language did they speak? There? They probably speak probably English. I, I didn't really know anything, but I think they just speak English. Jared. Well, I, should <laughs> part. I guess everything is all for English. <laughs> Shamia? Um, did a, a lot of kids did it. Did a lot of people didn't have that much money, and that's why they yeah, were poor? Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, well, they, like, they, there are some parts of them are poor, and so 
so they're sort of poor, so they're not really, really poor, so, but they do get money, like I said, they get cars for the oil, so they get, they get the money from the coffee and the lemon. Rachel? Do they, do they live in huts and everything, or do they live mm -hmm. in regular houses? <coughs> I think they just live in huts, but, because they're, they're like little, they're sort of poor, like I said with Shamia, but they might live in houses, but I think they, they're working on trying to get houses, I think. I think. <coughs> Daniel? Is that gold real or just paper? Oh no, it's actually chocolate. Um what what do they use the gold for? Well they they sell them, like I said, they're an export which means they sell they give them out to people like the coffee. So they like they just probably go and they give it like they <laughs> Next, Miss Anna to the compliment chair. Okay, Elizabeth, we'll start with you. Um, I love shared a lot. I hate it.